my fellow humans today is 5g the world environment the day to think of our nature our planet this year's theme being time for the nature so let's spare some time to think of our environment before it's too late don't wait for the others to walk with you work yourself and leave a trail as the famous quote by our very own rabindranath tagore goes on jodi to dab shune ki una ashe to pakla chalo to nature is the eraser and man is the pencil for nature loses a part of itself every time man does a mistake in the words of helen keller to me a lush carpet of pine needles or spongy grass is more welcome than the most luxurious persian rug and indeed nature's opulence is incomparable but today man in his strides towards materialistic success has inflicted grievous injuries on serene mother nature by misusing technology our environment which stores the elixir of life is on the verge of collapse it is high time that we wake up from our slumber of ignorance and heal the world so that we can restore nature to her former resplendence we are the children of mother nature on the occasion of world environment day let my words flow as so lord byrons look deep into the nature and then you will understand everything there is a pleasure in pathless woods there is rapture in the lonely shore this is a society that resides where no one intrudes by the deep sea and the music in its roar i love not man the less but nature more thank you make the plants your true beloved friends and they will become your honest life savior don't destroy the earth to enjoy transient pleasure for that save the environment if you want to live amidst this beautiful and wonderful nature as said by dalai lama human use population technology have reached to a certain height where mother earth no longer accept our presence with silence so let's nurture our nature to make our world a better place i am the earth and the earth is me earth day by jane yolen each blade of grass each honey tree each bit of mud and stick and stone is blood and muscle skin and bone and just as i need every bit of me to make my body fit so earth needs grass and stone and tree and things that grow here naturally that's why we celebrate this day that's why across the world we say as long as life is dear is free i am the earth and the earth is me is a beautiful gift provided to people however due to the reason that people got this gift for free they did not learn how to value it our environment is under great distress and it is not a hidden fact anymore we often forget human beings are a part of nature not apart from it betraying nature is betraying ourselves So this environment day let's take a pledge to save environment or to be more precise save ourselves me and my earth oh dear earth what has happened to you oh i am sick i can hardly breathe my heart is burning why have you made me so ugly i am so hot now that my icy dress is melting but you have also thrashed cyclone flood and tsunami on us but that just to warn you to stop hurting me okay mother i promise you to try to detoxify you surely you would feel better oh thanks i am relieved 
The theme for World Environment Day 2020 is biodiversity. As the old Sanskrit adage goes, Sarva Jana Hitaya, Sarva Jana Sukhaya sums up this year's theme that we can only prosper together with the diverse flora and fauna around us. So let us take a pledge to protect the environment and stop the wanton destruction around us. no other better time than today to talk about environment. The current COVID-19 situation has taught us that how important it is to protect nature. Nature can cause a lot of damages to us like the new Amphan cyclone that just occurred. But if we plant more trees, nature will itself protect us. We are the children and this is our future we are talking about. This I request all these seniors to make sure they go ahead and help us. During this modern time, we have witnessed nature returning to its full glory without human intervention only for a few days. This shows how much we have exploited nature. This is a wake-up call for us. We need to shift away from our harmful actions that harm the environment. Thus, we can conclude that by saving the environment, we are saving ourselves and creating a sustainable future. Our planet Earth is known as the Blue Planet. It is home to a huge variety of resources for sustaining and meeting our needs. But we don't even realize the amount of harm we are causing to our planet. We are gradually stabbing it and leading the way to its destruction. It is our moral duty towards our Mother Earth and our future generation to save our planet. It is at least contribute on this occasion of the World Environment Day towards the healing of the planet. As told by Michael Jackson, heal the world. Make it a better place for you and for me. Today, the 5th of June, is the World Environment Day. Like every year, this year also, we are determined to make people aware of environmental protection. Though we know that protection of environment is not a one-day endeavor, we need to remember that it is humans who have destroyed the environment, which in turn is posing a threat to human health and harming the balance of the ecosystem. Hence, it is our prime duty now to revive and protect water, soil and air by our control activities. We should remember that when we heal earth, we heal ourselves. Our school 
always made efforts to spread awareness about the need of protecting environment. Throughout the year, our school organizes plantation programs inside and outside the school campus. Our students participate in seminars, interactive sessions, awareness work, etc., on environmental issues. Last year, we made a mission of growing one lakh erica palm saplings, and these saplings were distributed among the students and other people. For last six years, our school is actively working on e-waste management. To minimize wastage of water, we have wastewater management system in our school. We will continue with all such endeavors. For our own benefit, we started using environmental resources as a commodity belonging to us. But we have to make people feel that those are the community to which we belong. We must have love and respect towards environment. Few days back, we had encountered a devastating cyclone, Amphan. Thousands and thousands of trees were uprooted all around us. In our school campus also, we lost many of our fellow trees. Today, let us take a pledge that we will again grow one lakh saplings after the school reopens and we will make these saplings grow to get a greener, cleaner world. Thank you.